Hey guys, it's David here from phonebook.com and in this video I'm doing a review slash how-to on the Square app available for both Android and iOS. So with that said, I'll go ahead and open up the app and I've already signed up and made my account and everything so when I open up the app, I'm taken to the screen. Basically the screen is just asking me for an amount to put in to charge. So let's say $1 and uh, I could actually leave a description for the transaction so I could say, you know, for video purposes, actually I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll say phone buff video. So phone buff video. Excuse my horrible typing. All right. So phone buff video. I could even take a picture of something if I wanted by pressing this camera button. And then um, to make the charge, I could either plug in the uh, credit card reader, which they send you for free. And I'll go over that in just a second. Or I could say I wanted to uh, put in the credit card number manually. I could do that as well and hit authorize card. Or I could hit cash and uh, you know, just keep uh, Square in charge of my all my finances or all, or all my transactions. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the free card reader that actually sends you upon signing up. So let me go ahead and get that. Let me zoom out, push this guy out of the way for a second. All right, so this is what they send you in the mail. So it says Square card reader, and I'll go ahead and open it up. It comes in a nice little packaging. All right, so it says, welcome to Square, gives you some uh, instructions. And uh, when you open it up, you have little stickers even for uh, Square, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and whatnot that you could uh, post on your sticker or whatever you want. Um, but here's the reader right here. So you pull it out of that little padding. And you can see it goes into your headphone jack, has a little slit right there, and uh, you can just swipe the card right through. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get my phone and plug this guy into my headphone jack. So plugged it in. You can see the phone recognized that I plugged it in. And I'm gonna go ahead and swipe a credit card. So this is actually a gift card, so don't get excited. Um, here's the uh, the strip right here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe it and try to show you the screen at the same time. So there you go, it says authorizing, approved, and there you go. Now it takes me to this screen, which is asking for a signature. So you can see it's a little line. So I'll just sign, I'll just, I'll just do David. Yeah, continue to receipt. And right here it says SMS or email receipt. So I can either send a text message to uh, the person that bought something or I could send uh, via email. So you can see I got an email saying that a transaction has been uh, done on my account. Anyway, I'll go ahead and send via email and I'll just do david at phonebuff.com. So david at phonebuff.com. All right and it'll send me a receipt. So that way if I wanted to print it out, I could. So basically the purpose of that is if you're using this for business, um, your customers could actually get a copy of the receipt, uh, email to them or text them so that way they could, you know, prove that they bought something from you uh, if they need it for like a tax deduction or anything like that. So anyway, we'll go ahead and hit finish. You can also skip the receipt by the way. It says $1 paid, thanks, done. And that's it. It's as easy as that, um, pretty cool. Um, and just to let you guys know, it does charge you a 2.75% fee. So whenever you do use the app, it charges you 2.75%, which is honestly really reasonable considering there's no minimum monthly fees associated with it. So definitely recommend it. I think it's really cool to have on your phone and that little card reader just makes it even more awesome. All right, that's it for me in this video. This is Dave from phonebook.com. Thank you for watching it and don't forget to visit phonebook.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.